Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go write plans for first grade for my daughter. For language arts, we are going to continue using Hooked on Phonics. It's a really good program. I've used it for all my kids. It works really well. You can also get their app. So they have a Hooked on Phonics app as well. And that app includes a Hooked on Spelling and a Hooked on Math. And I got it when I was on sale. So it was $45 one time fee. It may be more now because it was a few years ago. You can have up to three kids on the app. So in addition to Hooked on Phonics, we are going to be using beginning readers such as the Osborne First Reading Library. It has 50 books in it and it's really good. It starts out with you read one page and then your child reads the other page. And of course they have just, you know, one or two words and it, it goes more and more as they go through the books. And then eventually they're reading books by themselves. So the Osborne First Reading Library is really great for reluctant readers or who kind of are scared to try a book on their own because it gradually increases. We'll also be doing bog books as she progresses through those Flood and Frog and Toad and other beginning readers. I also really like the All About Reading books. I don't use All About Reading to teach my kids reading, but they do have books that go with the program and I like getting those and using those as well. They're really well done and their stories are fun and it's just very, very good for early readers. For literature, we do most of our literature in the car as we drive around. So what I do is I get books from Ambleside Online, their book list, and also The Well-Trained Mind and just kind of figure out which ones will appeal to most of my kids, hopefully all of them, and then play in the cars or drive around. For spelling, she is only about a third of the way through spelling you see, level A, so I think she'll probably finish up the last half or the last third or so next year in first grade. I'll also be adding in copy work next year. I'm not sure what we'll do for that. For handwriting this year, we did uh, handwriting without tears and then transition to Zaner Blozer. We are going to continue with Zaner Blozer because the handwriting is really beautiful and I like the books. For writing, she will do excellence in writing. This has worked so well for all my kids. We will continue doing that indefinitely. And I will also be adding Language Smarts from the Critical Thinking Company. And you can use it as an entire language arts program or as a supplement. I use it as a supplement so my kids just do a page or two a day and just goes over things like grammar, spelling rules, sequencing and stories, things like that. And they're really good. I have a flip through of level C of Language Smarts, but I will also do a flip through of level B when I order it later this year. We are in a homeschool PE class this year. We will continue that next year. It's this PE slash Taekwondo class, which is really fun for the kids and they love it. She really wants to do ballet classes next year. So I'm hoping we can find one that will work with our schedule. For math, we're still doing Math UC. It's such a great program. I'm so glad I picked that for homeschool. I like to combine Math UC with Miquan, so she'll be continuing that as well. This year I added Write Start for her. We use it very supplementally, so just a couple times a month when she doesn't want to do her school. She's very stubborn. So sometimes I just pull that out and we do math game type things. Write Start is a full curriculum, then we just use it as a supplement. And then this year I added Memoria Press, Memoria Math Challenge. And so basically it's just math facts you do over and over again. It doesn't take very long, but it, it's really good for learning math facts. And then because they've learned these math facts so well, be able to do their future math assignments quicker. She will also be finishing up her Kumon time books and her Kumon money books. And then I'll probably add some logic books from the Critical Thinking Company as well. So maybe like an early mind benders or maybe math analogies, things like that. For sciences next year, we are all going to do physics. So I was kind of debating on whether to get the Real Science for Kids physics program, but it's only a semester long, or to do the exploration education, which is also physics, but that's a year long and it's on the computer. So I think we're going to go with exploration education. They have three different levels. So all the levels are working on physics and then each level has more lessons. But I think it'll be great to all be on the same subject, even though they are at different levels. And then of course we'll do Kiwi Crates again, because they are just fabulous. My kids love them. We might do Mel Science Kits as well. I'm not sure if we'll have the funds for it, but we'll see. Now Spanish we did not get to this year. I'm hoping to next year. So we did Song School Spanish last year and it worked really well. Song School Spanish was fabulous, but we weren't actually speaking it. And so I had heard from some homeschoolers that the flip-flop Spanish helped their kids to actually start speaking it. So we tried switching to that, but we never got around to doing it. So I'm not sure if we'll try that again next year or go back to the Song School Spanish and just do level one again with everybody since we skipped a year. So one of those two. For social studies, we'll be doing Around the World with Picture Books, level two. We did level one this year and it was fabulous. We absolutely loved it. I'll be using many more programs from this company. It's from the Beautiful Feet Books company and they just are wonderful. For music, she will be continuing the piano at Hoffman Academy and Prodigy Spells. It's our third year doing it. We just love those. We were doing SingSolfa.com, which is a free singing program. We've done that the whole time we've homeschooled, but I kind of wanted something that's more technique instead of just matching notes with the solfege. So this year we're going to try Singing Made Easy. 
It has five levels to it, and it's supposed to teach your kids how to sing really well, and the anatomy, mechanics, things like that to make your voice come out. I thought actual singing lessons would be better as far as developing their singing ability. For art, we have done atelier for the last three years, and I was going to do something else this year, but then I found the next two levels at the thrift store, so I grabbed them. It's a really good program. I've just noticed that the projects are kind of the same from year to year. The program's good. And I like that there's different art projects they get to do. I just don't like how it's the same kind of every year. I'd rather do art from a classical approach where you consider drawing as a tree trunk and then all the other things are branches. So oil painting and watercolors and pastels and colored pencils, things like that. But drawing is the main one because you need to learn how to draw to do art usually. So you might have to draw 3D again. I really like that program. And then I was thinking of adding in watercolor as well, since we've done a lot of drawing this year. Obviously, she's in kindergarten, and my boys are pretty young too, so they still need to develop a drawing ability. But I was thinking of adding watercolor in from the Let's Make Art channel on YouTube. They have tons of watercolor tutorials, and they've got ones for kids as well. And then, of course, we'll be doing art study as well. And the way you do that is you take an artist, so usually one artist per term. The term is 12 weeks, and then each picture is done for two weeks. And you just hold it up, the kids look at it, and you hide it, and... They tell you what they remembered seeing in there, and then you also maybe read a little bit about the artist. So we are doing Van Gogh right now, and it's really fun. So that's my plan for my first grader next year. If you have any cool stuff you're doing for first grade, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to check it out, and please like and subscribe, and see you next time.